Hey Jimra, it's Laura Myron here and we are going to do a all body, all over, all everything <laughs> yoga routine. So let's start on our hands and knees, all fours. Arch your back, look up, cow pose, and cat pose, round your back, drop your head. Okay, inhale, reach out through your chest. You guys know I love cat cow. Exhale, curl, fill into your lower back. And just take the deepest breaths you've taken all day. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Let the head drop down. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, come to hands and knees, all fours, neutral spine. You're going to turn your fingers to point towards your knees. You can stay with one at a time, or if it's okay, you can do both. Push your hands into the ground, and think more like cow pose instead of like cat, right? So you're just holding it here. You're gonna stretch through the forearm, through the wrist. Okay, one at a time, turn the hands around. Crawl your knees backwards and your hands forward for puppy dog. Drop your chest towards the ground. Keep your arms straight. You can put your forehead down. Stick your butt out, right? So you don't want your back to be rounded here. You want to send your butt up towards the sky. Or if it's available, you can bring your chin all the way to the ground and your chest to the ground. Good. Come all the way back up. Oof. Downward facing dog. Come way up high on your toes and turn your heels, drop your heels over to the right. Reach up through the hips and inhale, come up and then bring your heels over to the left, right? So you're on the edge of your foot, the bottom of your feet are lifted. Your left toe is touching your right heel. Here we go, inhale, lift. Exhale, tip over to the right. Inhale, lift the heels up, up, up. Exhale, tip over to the left, beautiful. Come through center, bend your knees, press your thighs back. Come forward to plank and lower your knees to the ground and then slowly lower your chest to the ground. Arms down by your side. Lift your legs, lift your chest. Lift up for Shalabhasana, starting to wake up the back muscles. Take one more breath, lift your chest, lift your legs. Put your hands and your feet down. Push up to plank on your knees first and then we go to downward facing dog. Whew. All right, lift your right leg up, down dog splits. And step your right foot all the way forward between your hands. Come up into crescent lunge. You're gonna bring your right arm underneath your left. You can stay here giving yourself a hug or lift your hands up or you can bring your palms all the way together. Bend your front knee. Unwind your arms, big inhale. Lower your hands, step back to plank, and we'll switch. Lift your left leg up, down dog splits, and step your left foot all the way through, crescent lunge, up you go. Left arm underneath the right for a hug. You can stay here, or bring the back of your hands together, or the palms all the way together. Bend, bend, bend your front knee, lift up through your belly button. Shoulders away from the ears. Ooh, it's a nice, beautiful, warm day. And by warm, I mean hot. <laughs> Out here in Malibu. Inhale, stretch your arms up, don't fall. <laughs> Lower your hands, step back to plank. Okay, you're gonna come back onto hands and knees, all fours. This time, step your one foot out. Doesn't even matter which leg, yeah? And you're gonna do that same puppy dog. Crawl the hands forward, drop your chest towards the ground. This time with one leg out. So you should maybe feel something through your inner thighs. And then we're still getting that back bending action. Hips are right over the knee. Take one more big breath. Press back up. We bring the knee in and go to the other side. Take the legs straight out to the side. Your hips are right over the knee. So you crawl the hands forward. Stick your butt out, press your inner thighs back, shoulders away from your ears, push your hands into the ground. One more breath, drop your chest towards the ground. 
Okay, press back up onto hands and knees. Inhale, lift your right arm and your left leg. Exhale, lower it down. So we're just going with the breath. Left arm, right leg, inhale. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, exhale. Really try and bring the breath and the movement together. Inhale, exhale. So learning to do that takes a little time, patience. Inhale, exhale, but it becomes like a moving meditation. Inhale, and exhale, place it on down. Beautiful. Back to downward facing dog. And walk your feet forward towards your hands, forward fold, drop your head down. Check out how sandy your feet are. <laughs> it's good, it's a beautiful day. The ocean waves are huge, so nice. Okay, heel toe your feet together for chair pose. Sit your butt down, lift your chest up. So you want your butt as low as you can, your chest as high as possible. Stand and lift your left knee up, inhale, cross your ankle and sit down, exhale. Stand all the way back up, come right into warrior three, left leg back. Okay, let's do this with the breath, here we go, breath work, inhale up, exhale, cross and sit, do you like my arm variations? <laughs> inhale up, exhale, warrior three. One more round, inhale. Exhale, cross the ankle, not the foot. The ankle's on the leg, not the foot. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lift up. Back down into chair and hold. Okay, so this is your recovery. <laughs> it's chair pose, I'm so nice. Inhale, lift your right knee up this time, balance. Exhale, cross and sit. You're gonna fall, you might not fall. If you fall, it's okay, come back to me. Inhale up. Exhale, back to warrior three. Lift the right leg up. Okay, let's go with the breath. Inhale. Exhale, cross and sit. Inhale, lift up. I know it's challenging to balance. Exhale, cross. Back you go. Inhale, stand up. Stay focused with me. Exhale, down. Last round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stand up so tall and lower your hand and foot. All right, let's send salutation. Inhale, first one of the routine. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the ground. Halfway up, inhale, hands to your shins, stick your chest out, exhale, step back to plank. We'll just take a nice big inhale here, and exhale, lower all the way down. Cobra pose, just one inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. So good, yogis. All right, lift your right leg up, down dog splits. And bring your right knee to your right elbow. Now you're gonna come into side plank. Your option is to do regular side plank or you could try keeping your right knee lifted. Yes, so your option is here or here, one or the other. Okay, put both hands on the ground, knee to nose, down dog splits, right leg up. Knee to your left elbow, twist and hold. Now. You can put your right knee on the ground or try and keep the right leg lifted, left arm up, left arm up, side plank, ah, knee to nose, hold, down dog splits, don't worry, that was just the dress rehearsal, step your right foot all the way forward, crescent lunge, right arm underneath, okay, here we go, hinge forward, warrior three, inhale, lift your arms up, lift your knee up, you know this part, exhale, cross and sit, inhale, lift up, Exhale, back to warrior three. Inhale, lift up, stand up, cross and sit. Here we go, inhale up, warrior three. Exhale, you've got one more round here. Inhale, once you work that breathing, exhale. Inhale, back to warrior three, hold. Okay, let's hit warrior two here. Open it up. Slide, slide, slide those feet apart. Try not to be leaning forward, lift your chest up, press your glutes forward. Reverse triangle, so I'm gonna bring my feet a little closer together. Straighten your legs, reach your arm by your ear, tip over. Press your hips the opposite direction that your body's tipping over. Yeah, because otherwise it's here. Yeah, so press your hips forward, stretch back. Okay, all the way down to triangle pose. I'm gonna put my hand on my shin. You wanna keep 
from hip to armpit as straight as possible. Good. Okay, from triangle, slide, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy your foot a little further away for side angle. Stretch your left arm by your ear, press those glutes forward, lift your chin. Okay, inhale, reverse the warrior, keep bending the right knee, lower your hand. Step back, you can either do a vinyasa on your own or just go to down dog because you got nice big plank work here. Let's do it, left leg up. Left knee to left elbow, hold. Left arm up, lift your left arm up, side plank. Okay, so here's the version with the knee lifted, otherwise regular side plank or knee down. Bring your knee to your nose and plank. Three, two, down dog splits, up you go. Woo, bring your knee to your right elbow, twist, work that core. Right arm up, try and keep the bottom knee lifted, otherwise you can place it down, okay? Knee to nose again, three, two, inhale up, Exhale, step the left foot forward. Okay, organize yourself here. Find your balance. Crescent lunge, left arm on top. I'm sorry, left arm underneath. <laughs> left arm underneath. Bend your knee. Okay. Keep the arms hinge forward. Lift up for warrior three. Find your balance. Okay, inhale, lift the knee up. You know this part. Exhale, cross and sit. Inhale up, warrior three, exhale. Stay with the breathing, inhale up. Exhale, cross and sit back. Inhale up, look at the ground for warrior three. Last round, inhale, exhale down. Inhale up, warrior three, hold. Take a big step back to warrior two. Slide your feet way far apart. Bend, bend, bend the knee. Remember, your butt's gonna wanna stick out. Drop your tail down. Zip up the lower belly. Use your core, bend the knee. Okay, straighten your legs. Reverse triangle. So it's just like reverse warrior, but your legs are straight. Lift your kneecaps up. Stretch your arm back, press the hips forward. All the way down to triangle pose. Left hand on your ankle. I would use a yoga block here if I had one. Try not to be rounded in your spine, right? Be nice and straight. Shimmy that right foot a little further back so you can come into side angle pose. So triangle and side angle are very similar, right, in the upper body. Try not to drop the chest. Open up, proud, confident. Reverse warrior, keep bending this left knee. Reach your left arm by your ear. You can vin vinyasa, vanyasa, vanyasa, or just right to downward dog. It's your choice. I'm gonna head to downward dog because we're doing all this fun little plank work. Lower your knees to the ground. Crawl your hands forward again. Puppy dog, really practicing this today. Stick your butt out, drop your chest to the ground. Okay, all the way back up. Downward facing dog. Here we go, right leg up, inhale. Listening skills going. Right knee to the right elbow, exhale. Right arm and right knee up. Right arm, inhale. Knee to nose and plank, exhale. Down dog splits, right leg up. Bring your knee to your left elbow. Knee to your left elbow, left arm up. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Down dog splits, inhale. Step the right foot forward, exhale. Inhale all the way up. Right arm underneath, exhale. Inhale, hinge forward, lift up for warrior three, exhale. Stand and lift the knee, inhale, exhale, cross and sit. You know this part. Inhale, up, warrior three, exhale. We're going right back to warrior two. Yes, we're just building on. Here we go, inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, triangle pose. Getting that movement through the body. Slide your feet apart, side angle pose, turn the chest open, reverse warrior, and lower your hands. Vinyasa, or I'm just gonna step right to down dog, take a deep breath. Let's do it. Left leg up, inhale. Knee to left elbow, exhale. Left arm, left knee up, inhale. Knee to the nose, exhale. Left leg up, great listening. Knee to the right elbow, exhale, twist. Right arm up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. 
down dog splits, inhale, exhale, step the left foot all the way through. You'll just meet me in a crescent lunge somehow. Inhale, left arm underneath, exhale. Inhale, chest comes forward. Exhale, lift up, warrior three. Inhale, stand up, knee up. Exhale, cross and sit. So we've already done this before. Inhale, lift. Warrior three, exhale. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten the legs all the way down to triangle pose. Look at this movement through the hips, to the shoulders. Side angle pose. Turn your chest open. Reverse warrior. Inhale, bend, bend, bend that knee and exhale, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank, inhale, knees to the ground, lower all the way down, beautiful. Bend both of your knees, squeeze your heels towards your butt. Feel those hamstring muscles working. Lift your chest up any amount, and you're gonna grab one foot, then the other foot. If you can grab both feet at the same time, go for it. Lift your chest up, up, up. I'm on the most awkward, uneven ground here, so I'm not sure what's going on. One more breath. Bring your heels to your butt. Press your glutes into the ground so your lower back stays really stable and slowly let go. <sighs> Downward facing dog. Beautiful, you guys. All right, right knee forward for pigeon. Left leg back. You guys just rocked out an awesome moving, flowing, breathing sequence. So let's just take a moment here to slow it down, calm it down. Drop your chest and your abdomen towards the ground. If you wanna crawl the hands forward and you can try and bring your forehead to the ground, chest to the ground. your hands back, down dog. Switch your sides, left knee forward, shimmy that right leg back. Nice and easy, make your way down. So if you're not getting enough of a stretch, bring that foot a little further forward. If you feel anything in your funny in your knee, adjust, right? You can bring your foot further back or you could lay on your back instead and do thread the needle. Yeah, that figure four stretch. You just don't wanna mess up your knees. Yeah, we want this yoga practice to be nurturing and nourishing for our body. Yes, it's challenging, but you wanna be able to come back day after day after day, right? Not like crunch and kill yourself in one workout and then you're so sore, oh, you, know, you gotta pace yourself. Two deeper breaths. Call your hands back, downward facing dog, right? So we're making this in bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces, little by little. Okay, walk your feet forward towards your hand, forward fold. Beautiful, sit your butt all the way down, Navasana, lift your feet up, lift your chest up, boat pose. I wish I was out on a boat in this beautiful ocean right now with a glass of something sparkly in my hand. <laughs> Goals, that's what we're working towards. All right, here we go. You're going to slowly inhale, lower all the way down, exhale, lift up. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. Your modification is feet on the ground. You can use your hands here. Otherwise, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, five, Exhale, four, exhale. Two more, stay with me. One more. Oh, okay, lay all the way down on your back. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Now this is that thread the needle, yes? Butt down, shoulders down. You can stay here, you can hold on onto the shin. Okay, you can stay here or you could try this and if it doesn't work, you don't have to do it. Bring your left arm around your right foot. Yes, 
So my foot is right on my bicep. Right arm around the right leg. Straighten your left leg out, yeah? So I'm making the shape of pigeon that we just did, but on my back, yeah? It's the same shape. Try and bring your head and your shoulders to the ground. Okay, and if this is too much, you do thread the needle. Yeah, just be really honest with yourself. Again, it's bite-sized pieces. Yes, I've been working out and doing yoga for many years. <laughs> and I used to get so frustrated and pissed off when I wasn't able to do stuff. Now, I just smile. <laughs> Take it day by day and know that, okay, cool, I have something to work on, this is good. Half happy baby, grab your right foot, shoulders down, head down. You can also hold on to the shin if holding on to the foot is not available. Good, and let go of the foot. Here we go, second side, cross left over right, hold on behind the thigh, or you can hold on to the shin, shoulders down, butt down, slight lumbar curve, you may certainly stay here, or you can try, your foot comes to the bicep. So my left foot is on my right bicep. The left arm comes around. And if you look at this and you think, oh my God, that is like a prince pretzel contortionist move. I couldn't think of the word contortionist. <laughs> okay, then just forget about it and stay here and breathe. <laughs> okay. Head and shoulders down on the ground. Relax your forehead, your jaw, your face. One more breath. Grab a hold of your foot. Half happy baby. So you can hold on here. You can use both hands. Yes, just work what's available to you today. Again, bite-sized pieces, little by little by little by little. As you stay consistent and committed, you're gonna start to see a shift and change. You have to have that patience and that commitment. It's not gonna happen like overnight tomorrow, right? I wish it did. <laughs> okay, go ahead and let go of your foot. Let's do bridge pose. Bend both of your knees, arms down by your side. Roll your shoulders underneath you and lift your hips up. Right, so really uh, opening up the front of the hips here. If it's available, interlace your fingers, crawl your shoulders underneath you. Bring your feet all the way together, bend your right knee in, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, lift your hips up. Bend the right knee, put it down, left knee up, cross, lift your hips up. Lift the knee up, put your foot down, three, two, one, all the way down. Oh, just bring your feet as wide as your mat, let your knees to the right, left, little windshield wiper here. Kind of just rocking and moving through the hips, through the pelvis. Okay, again, bridge pose, arms down by your side, puff your chest up, lift the hips. You may certainly stay here. If you wanna play with wheel, you're gonna place your hands by your ears, make sure you're not pulling your hair out. <laughs> Elbows up towards the ceiling. If you're staying in bridge, you're, you're holding it, you're there. If you're trying wheel, come up, pop up onto the top of your head. Oh, the mat is slippery sliding with sand on it. It's great, extra workout here. Lift your hips up, lift your butt up, lift your tailbone up towards the sky. And everybody down you go, knees bent, windshield wiper side to side. Okay, hug your knees into your chest. Rock forward and back, forward and back. All the way up. Okay, double pigeon. We're getting into the hips. So you're gonna bend your left knee, stack your right ankle on top. So you can stay right here with your hands behind you for support. Okay, if you can sit up tall, right, we're working towards getting the lower back taller. Yes. Flex your foot. So you should not be able to see the bottom of your foot. Okay, you should see the bottom of my sandy foot. <laughs> so you may stay here again with your hands for support. Breathe. If you can come forward, come forward. And keep 
flexing the feet, right? Like you're standing through your feet. It's important for your knees. Sit all the way up. Switch sides, right leg underneath, left ankle on top. Okay, so take your time. Maybe you hang here for a second. Yeah, if you're kind of like forcing and grinding and pushing yourself in the postures, your body is gonna respond by fighting back. Yeah, so whatever we fight, we'll fight back. Whatever we put energy towards is what grows, right? So we're gonna fight our way through it, but you're gonna breathe your way through it. And maybe you stay leaning back for today. Knee over ankle, ankle over knee. Yeah, so it's not here. Double pigeon. So big for the hips. Breathe your way forward. Take two more deep breaths. Sit yourself all the way up, beautiful. Uncross your legs, cross right ankle over left thigh, slide your left foot back. So we're getting into those hips. Okay, now have your left hand nice and far behind you. Right arm up. <laughs> Take your arm to your foot. Okay, and it might just be your forearm to your foot. You're gonna crawl this hand as far forward as you can, sit up as tall as you can, slide your arm onto your foot. Ooh, turn your chest open. So someday this turns into an arm balance. I think it's grasshopper. It's a really crazy hard arm balance, but this is a great twist to get you prepared for it. So I don't put you in these weird, awkward positions just for fun, although it is fun. Unwind yourself and switch. Left over right. So again, the hip opener now, let's add the twist. So the left leg is up, left arm up. Take your arm to your foot. Slide it, slide it, slide it down. So we try not to let the shoulders round forward. Yeah, I'd rather see you here than here. Lift your chest up, up, up. Turn your chest, your ribs, your sports bra to face the side. You should really feel something here and twisting through the spine is great. Come through center. Stretch your legs out. You can bend your knees or have them straight. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. You can hold on to your ankles, the thighs, the something. <laughs> Using a strap or a towel around the foot is great. Maybe you can have assistance from a friend, your kids, holding on, <laughs> gently pulling you forward. Don't have them pull too hard. <laughs> and as you know, we're trying to less to round the back and more to lengthen it out. Your fullest inhale here, fill your lungs, fill all the way up, hold the breath in at the top. And exhale, empty all the breath out, big stretch, hollow out your belly, draw the navel up and in until you're completely empty and hold it. Okay, a couple regular breaths. Sit all the way up tall. We did it, you did it. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Laura Myron. I will see you soon on Jimra. Namaste.